serialized containers let you link stock levels together. They're generally used for pre-packaged items in a case, or assets that are rented as a single unit, helping to speed up your warehouse prep. We have two types of container in current, temporary and permanent. Temporary containers are emptied on check-in, useful for flight cases that you pre-packed ahead of time. If you're working with assets that are semi-permanently housed together, like lamps on a bar or racks of gear, permanent containers are what you're looking for. Once packed, everything in a container is booked out and checked in as a complete unit. Head to Resources Serialized Containers to see all of the permanent and temporary containers on your system. To create a new container or see what's in an existing one, scan or type the asset number. Make sure your container mode is set to permanent and start scanning or typing barcodes to add to the container. Made a mistake? Scan something out of the container by toggling the scan mode to out and scanning or typing an asset. When you allocate a permanent container to an opportunity, its components aren't usually added to the order view. Instead, they'll be shown on the detail view for your warehouse team's attention. When you scan an asset for a product that's been set up as an accessory to the parent product and where the accessory type is component, you'll see a green matched component label in the list. As they're product accessories, matched components are added to the order view. Current will automatically allocate to matched component lines instead of adding new lines on the detail view for them. Let's look at allocating now. When it's time to prep a job, head to the opportunity detail view as normal. We'll scan a permanent container. Here we can see we allocated our bar and Current automatically allocated the lamps for it. Now let's try allocating a radio mic rack. The transmitters here are set up as match components, but the microphones are not. When we allocate our container, Current fills the match component lines for us, but creates new lines for the non-match components. Other accessory lines would be left as they are, so we could start allocating as normal. You might scan a container and realize that one of the components is damaged. Not a problem, choose Swap Component from the menu to swap for a new asset or subrent the components. If you like, move the original asset to the quarantine to keep on top of its repair. Any action we take on our serialized containers is also taken on the container components. When you prep, book out and check in permanent containers, its components are automatically prepped, booked out and checked in too. For a full overview of permanent containers, get in touch with the team today.